Hello guys, and welcome back to Super Ultra Hardcore. Today, I have a few things that I have planned. Um, I've been working off camera a whole lot. I've done a whole lot of stuff, and I'm actually really excited to show you guys. Um, if you guys notice, whenever I break these blocks, it turns like a uh, lime green color. And that's because I did a little bit of a uh, texture rechanging. Like, if you punch this block, watch it. It goes throughout the color, um... Spectrum. It goes from red to green, orange, blah, dup, dup, dup. It does it for like every single block. Um, every single block has a different sort of hue to it. And I really like it, especially on stone. Look at this. Yeah. That's beautiful. I really love it. And uh, I kind of like how if I have like a really fast pickaxe, such as this one, it pretty much immediately breaks the um, block but like as it's doing it it turns to the green color that I really like so much it's always green yes but I really like how it goes throughout the spectrum too um, especially whenever you're punching something like really slow such as sand or like you know with your hands I like it um, I'm collecting a lot of sand because I need a lot of sand and you guys will find out in a second why I need a whole bunch of sand um, I do want to go over one more thing. I updated my skin. So let me find F5 real quick. Bloop! Bloop! Hello guys! It's -a me! I've got a new skin! Except not really. Um, I've updated my skin to the new sort of way skins work. Um, this is what I would look like if I wasn't wearing my jacket. Like if I was, you know, wearing my normal dress clothes. And I wasn't wearing my jacket, but if I equip my jacket, boop, 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 and ta-da, I'm me again, except I've got a nice little layer of, see, look, you can still see my jacket underneath my, or my, uh, you can see my shirt underneath my jacket. I think that's so cool. I think it's really awesome. I want to take it off again and then turn it back on. Turn it off, 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 off. Look at that! Look how neat that is. And also, uh, the right and left legs and the arms and stuff have separate textures. So I had it. It honestly like took me a couple of hours to figure out how to get the textures to actually work. But oh no! But I did it, and I'm actually pretty excited about it. I think it looks a lot better than the uh, the way textures worked before for skins. Oh, break, 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 break! Uh, let's turn back on the jacket. Um. Where's that? There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Ba -ba -doom! Look at me. I think this is so great. I'm actually... Oh, oh, oh. F3, F4, F5. There we go. I think it's really great. I'm really happy that they actually allowed more skin customization. Because I kind of... I really like how it's set up now. Um, Although I know for a fact, whenever I go onto any multiplayer server, there's going to be a lot of people with, like... um diamond armor and stuff that they can just toggle on and off and I think that'd be pretty cool like let's say that I'm on you know playing a Hunger Games map and I run away from somebody but then I come back but then I toggle on all my outer clothes and then I have diamonds and it freaks them out and it makes them run away I think that's a really cool technique that people can use to kind of psychologically freak people out you know so yeah, that, that's a, it allows for that, but um, I also think uh, I saw something about transparency, but I'm not entirely sure if that's an actual thing that they're going to add, because transparent skins sounds like it would be kind of cheap, um, but I know I've seen people toggle off like certain bodies, but I think they fixed it. Um, originally, like if you have a certain part of your body that was transparent, um, with this new skin thing, then it would be invisible. But I've noticed that it just now appears as black to prevent people from, I guess, coming in, becoming invisible. So that's neat. Um, but yeah, I'm going to gather some sand, and I'll meet you back at the house. I'm actually uh, see that's where we started at the very beginning, and our house is off that way quite a bit. So I will meet you guys back at the house in a second. I'm going to gather some sand, and I will show you guys some stuff. So, be right back. Hey guys, and welcome home. So, 
for the first thing that I want to show you guys, um, I've they they have the new thing in this uh in the snapshot where you can actually create uh, mossy stone and stuff. So I have like this little uh like this little farm where it can farm vines and stuff. So I can make some mossy stone brick and some mossy cobblestone and yeah, that's that's the first thing. Um, second thing, I. I think there's something new with this. I think I did something new. Actually, I don't think I did. Um, but I do want to show you how much freaking eggs that we have accumulated. Look at all these eggs. And not to mention, all of these hoppers are filled up with the eggs. So, whenever this chest gets completely full, and I suppose I guess I'm going to fill this one up too, I'm going to wipe out all of the chickens, and I'll try to fix the coop. Um, these chickens don't seem to be gl glitching, um, but there is still that mob bug where, you know, chickens and stuff are getting stuck in walls and suffocating. I was actually traveling off to go get some wood one day, and all of a sudden I saw a chicken jump up into a tree, and it immediately died. It's like it got its neck snapped in the middle of a tree and it just fell, and it was awful. Um, I'm also going to be changing up this road because I don't like the road. I think I might have mentioned that before. Um, that's why I haven't finished it. Because I have, I mean, I don't really have the time to good, make a good road system because I'm kind of busy with something else right now. But I'm going to uh, remove this and create a better road system. And I'm probably going to integrate it with this thing too. So this thing isn't so, you know, different. I want it to kind of blend. And I want to build some other stuff. I do still have the suggestions that you guys have given me um, about things to build. And don't think I've forgotten, I'm still going to do them. I, uh, Whenever I get a suggestion, I write it down on a piece of paper. And I write down the person who suggested it to me so I can give them full credit. And that is what I do. But I will show you what I'm kind of busy with at the moment. As I said, I'm trying to build a storage system type of thing. So uh, to, to remove all... All of this crap and I can I'm probably gonna leave the crafting table or the enchantment table and everything here but I want to move all of this stuff kind of in its own storage room that way it's not in the way so let's go down and you guys have already seen this I finished lighting up the rest of this place like uh, doing all the redstone for it so the lights come on now um, this thing we built in the last episode it works phenomenally um, I actually need to do something else before I show you guys. You guys can probably already see it if you look to the left there. But I want to show you guys something else first. Um, and there's also something else that I have to do because it's kind of urgent. Um, I need to make some potions because I went caving and I nearly died. So <laughs> I need to make some more potions um, for to not die. And we're going to pop those in there. Boom, boom. Oh, nope, 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 nope. And we need one of these guys. And pop that in there. Oh, no, no. Go in there. Thank you. Um, I've been using the skeleton grinder a lot. Um, because I've gotten all this stuff. As you can see, I've got looting 2, power 3, sharpness 3, blast protection 4, unbreaking 3, feather fall... Oh, efficiency 4, feather falling 4, unbreaking 3, and lure 3. And I'm trying to get a um, silk touch enchant so I can put it on some shears so I can gather some grass and stuff. Because I really need grass and I really need ice and stuff like that. So um, I'm trying to get a silk touch. But right now I'm not having much luck. Um, why the heck did I grab all of this? Go back in there. Um, what else can I show you? Uh, first off, let's do some more potions. Let's get a this. I'm actually starting to run out of watermelon, so I need to make a watermelon farm really soon. And I don't want to put it underground. I want to build some more stuff above ground so it has more of an atmosphere. Because right now it just feels like we're a country home in the middle of nowhere and I kind of want to populate it and make it look nice. That is not how you do that. Uh, boom, boom. I keep forgetting how to do this stuff, man. Okay. Uh, nope. Give me the glistening melon, thank you. Uh, where do I put the nuggets? Okay, the nuggets go there. And this goes back. Pop this in there. And... I think that's it, really, for up here. Um, oh yeah, I do need to do one more thing. I need to uh, repair my pickaxe, because it's nearly dead. 
And this is the best pickaxe I could ever wish for, so I don't want it to die. Let's do it. Here we go. We have a fully repaired pickaxe, nearly. Um, yeah, it's, it's as close as I can get it, really. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to make it instant health, too. So put some glowstone in there. And instant health to me. Um, it's night time, so let's go sleep real quick. And I will stop delaying, and I will finally show you guys what I've been working on. So I will talk to you in the morning. Here we go. Okay. I do need to decorate this house because this house is so freaking empty and I feel so bad because it's so empty. But um, I'll do that in a little bit. Not today, not tomorrow, but whenever I feel like it. Let's put the potion back in there and uh, here we go. Let's show you. Um, I said I needed a storage system, so I've kind of done that. These are lit up with that tripwire. So these light up too. Um, I have a habit of squid spawning, so I need to kind of... I don't think there's a way to eliminate squid spawning, because I keep, I keep finding ink sacks just laying around. And, I mean, it's pretty neat, but it's kind of making a mess of things. Now, here's the here's my idea of the storage system, okay? Right here, if you look at this room, what do you see? You see stone. You see a lot of stone. You see mossy stone. You see stairs. You see the chiseled. You see the the... The granite and then the andesite, no, that's the other kind. And you see cobblestone and you just see stone. And if you look in here, you see stone. You see stone up here. Uh, you see the stone and more stone. And you're like, oh, this is a stone room. This is where you can do stone stuff. So let's say that I have, I want to get cobblestone. Obviously, cobblestone is going to be right here. I'll put cobblestone up there. It'll filter through and... I'll always use the bottom chest, because let's say, okay, I need four stacks of cobblestone. Boom, 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 boom. And it'll automatically refill itself. So I don't really have to worry about, you know, uh, kind of sorting it out. I don't have to do this thing and make sure it's all sorted. It sorts it for me. So it's really nice. It's a system that I created myself, and I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, see, it refills itself. Um, and this does the same, and all of these do the same. I'm eventually going to fill up as much as this as I possibly can. Um, right here is the uh, chiseled stone brick. And um, I have a spot here for the uh, the cracked. And I don't have cracked yet. Um, these kind of correspond to this. Because, okay, see, this is uh, cobblestone, right? You will agree with me that this is cobblestone because you've seen it. The cobblestone is right in there. Um, right here, half slabs. Right here, stairs and the the walls now right here you're like okay this is um, this is stone uh, stone doesn't have much but it does have slabs so we have slabs and the same thing for this uh, the brick you're like okay well slabs and stairs and the stairs and stairs are kind of on the same row so I'm I really want things to be organized and I want to be able to expand it I can expand it this way if I need to like let's say they add more stone to the game I can eventually add, uh, I can dig this out and, you know, make it further back. But, yeah, this is the idea I have for the, uh, the stone room. And I have, obviously, the mossy stuff right here. And it's very organized. And I don't really feel like I need more room. Because, like, if I fill up these chests, I don't really feel like I'll be able to use up all these chests in a lifetime. So, I want to be able to hold as much stuff as I possibly can for the rest of my stay here on this world so we have this and this is going to be the, like the miscellaneous blocks room with like the uh the dirt the gravel and the uh the sand and stuff like that and that's why i was gathering sand is so i can finish this room off um but yeah this is what i have planned um for the ground i don't really know what i'm gonna do i'm probably gonna do the same thing that, that i did in here um i do want grass at some point and right here, uh, as you can see, this is another ravine. I said I was going to build a, uh, what did I say? I was going to build a bridge, but I felt like just, you know, keeping it enclosed kind of makes it more warm and safe. And it had mobs kind of sneaking in the main building. Hey, look at that grass block down there. The Enderman did that. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at those, all those mushrooms. Oh, let's see if we can kill you. Da, sucker. Da! <laughs> um, but 
Uh, I'm going to have like a little buffer point, and uh, I'm going to explain this real quick. See this little area right here? It doesn't really have anything here. Now, I'm going to build this same little piece, the same little design, right here. That way, I have room uh, between this room and the next room. So, I can kind of... Uh, I don't know how to explain this. Um, okay, let me, let me try to explain this. If you count this, this is five. This is five blocks wide. And that's what the room is. Yeah, the room is five five blocks wide. But we're, um, don't forget about the walls. The walls plus the uh, the design on the back. So that uh, makes it uh, five plus uh, four, and that's nine. That's nine blocks wide. Now, if I start putting... Let's say that I put the next room right here. If I did this, then you would eventually start getting into... See right here, the, the second board of the wall. So in order to allow me to put more detail into the rooms... I've got to have a buffer point so I have more space to do some more designing and stuff. So I'm going to, uh, after I'm done with this room, I'm going to copy this little style. I'm going to put it right here. And I'll put more logs kind of, you know, bisecting it. And then I will have more space for more rooms. And it's going to go on and on and on. And I think I might have other corridors like... I might have a space where it goes this way and then that way. That way I don't have to travel like let's say probably like 300 blocks that way in order to go and visit the the nether room, you know. I can just go this way if I know it's that way and that way it kind of halves the time it takes for me to go travel places. So, I'm probably going to think of a good um sort of variable to use uh as like how many rooms before I have a an intersection? So that'll be something to do. Um, oh, I don't want to do this on camera because it gets really, really boring and tedious, and it takes too long. So uh, we'll be doing something else. Um, I do want to get some more Ender Pearls, so I do want to go to the end really soon because I mean I've kind of been pushing it back, and we tried it one time, but we didn't really go too far before we lost all of our stuff. So I want to put this stuff in there. Um, put that in there. Uh, this cobblestone needs to go in the cobblestone chest. Um, I'm kind of not liking the tripwire anymore because it, I don't know, it kind of feels like it, it's too intrusive. It gets in the way. And I don't really like it. So let's put that in there. Um, and then let's go up. And... What shall we do in this episode? I don't really have anything planned. Um, we can, however, we can try to get some ender pearls, as I said before, because uh, we don't have any ender pearls. So let me go and craft a iron sword, and we shall do some endermen. This sword has looting three, which means we'll get like four ender pearls off of one enderman. But the problem is, um, whenever you hit an enderman with fire aspect. He'll flip out and he'll start blinking everywhere. So we've got to get him down pretty low with the iron sword. And then we finish him off with the diamond sword. And yeah, that'll be fun. These cows, I feel so bad. They're just sitting here just being crammed. I've got to kill them off at some point. And I do want to make that little barn that I said I was going to make. Um, so I will wait till nighttime. Hey, it's becoming nighttime. So... Let's hope that we can get some luck with the uh, Endermen. Um, I have seen a lot of Endermen, like, um, whenever I was just exploring. I guess because uh, they, they have added this update where if you're in an area for a long time, uh, the harder it gets. Like, I've seen a lot of enemies with potion effects on. I've had a spider with speed, and I've had a spider with, I think, jump boost, if that's possible. I think it was jump boost. Um... So enemies are definitely getting harder. So if we get an Enderman, then we can do this. I want to get, uh, I want to kill at least two Endermen. That way we can have eight Ender Pearls. And um, I, I want to find the, the uh, next stronghold. Um, because I'm tired of, <laughs> I'm not really tired, but I, I kind of, I want, I want to go to the end. I want to do something. I'm just building here. I like building. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love building. But, I mean, I want to adventure a little bit more. Um, so, I want, 
I want to kill something. And plus, uh, if I go to the end, then I can possibly go to uh, and kill a wither at some point. And we can have a beacon kind of healing us all the time. So we don't have to worry about dying. So that'll be awesome. But right now, we just need to find some endermen. So let's see if we can get lucky. I um, want to... I don't really know exact. I think the swamp was the best bet for endermen. Um, it's really hard for enemies to spawn in forests because the trees. So we're going to head to the swamp real quick. The swamp's just this way. Ha. Ah. Oh, oh. Get you in the knees. No, I want to get the other guy in the knees. Go away. Go away. No, don't no, walk away. Hey, come back here. Come back here. Oh, piss. Who's hitting me? Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. This is a mess. This is nonsense. Ugh. <laughs> I think it would be the best bet if we took our potions with us. Um, so I'm actually going to go back and go grab some potions. Because we're going to need those for sure. Um, <laughs> because I, I'm... I don't know. I, I didn't hear him coming. So, oh, there's an enderman up there too. Okay, sweet. So let's just go ahead and do this real quick. Let's kill this uh, skeleton. Okay, he's dead. Um, and then let's get to a safe spot where we can aggro this guy. Oh, there's a zombie up there. Um, where did get eleven eggs from? What the heck? <laughs> okay, he's dead. Um, I think we can do this right here. Uh, where's he at? Hey, buddy. Come on. Come on, buddy. One, two, three, four, and then fifth one should kill him off. What did we get? <sighs> I think the fire killed him. I don't think that we got the thing. So let's hit him uh, five times next time before uh, hitting him with this. Because I think the fire killed him off. I don't think the uh, the looting got to him. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's kill the creepers. Uh, let's see if we can find another enderman. Let's head back. Uh, let's go get the potions and then head to the swamp. Um, let's toss a few of these. Get those chickens in there. <laughs> Do we have any more? Okay, no, we don't. Um, all right, so let's go get our potions. Boop boop. Yeah, I really want to decorate this house. It's so bland and ah, there's nothing here, man. It needs decorating. Let's eat our. Oh crap! We're almost out of food too. That sucks. Oh well, I can kill some pigs on the way if I if I need to. Okay, so to the swamp. The swamp is this way. Oh, hey buddy, come at me. Now you need to be careful not to catch the uh, <laughs> the these guys on fire, the zombies, because they can catch you on fire like that. Oh, oh. Okay, let's. <laughs> God dang. I don't want I don't want to die. I don't want to die like this, man. Stay away from zombies if you catch them on fire. Um because they will catch you on fire. And that is a, a thing that we don't want. <laughs> we don't want to be caught on fire because that is bad. I do want to make an automatic uh potion brewing system at some point that way we can have uh a whole lot of potions if we need them like we can have a whole inventory full of potions because it seems like I'm only brewing three at a time and I need more than that and if we have a beacon that can heal us we can save the potions for traveling so that'll be something worth doing sometime in the future and I'm looking forward to it but let's see if we can find Ooh, oh there's that there's our little house thing um let's go and kill this creeper let's be cautious make sure nothing sneaks up on us the zombies can pathfind you from ages away so you just need to be careful and not let them sneak up on you you die guy come on all right there's a slime I want to kill him we need some slime goo I haven't made any slime blocks yet either are you dead you dead okay uh I'm not seeing any endermen not yet. Where'd that slime go? Did you go this way? Come on, buddy. Give me your slime stuff. I need it. Oh. Go away, <laughs> you jerk. Hey, that's my slime goo. Yes, that's a lot of slime goo. And I don't think slimes can catch you on fire if they're on fire. So I think we're good with slimes. And we've got a lot of slime goo. Oh, buddy! Boy, no, uh, 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 back off, back off, bub. 
<laughs> no, thank you. Don't do that to me. What is that? Cobblestone. I don't remember dropping cobblestone. Uh-oh, there's another one. Come on, come on. Boom. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, I think the baby zombies can catch you on fire, too, if uh, they're on fire. Uh, not having any luck with Enderman. Oh, okay. I think my best bet is to actually go in the caves and get them. Because I've seen a whole lot in the uh, the ravine system. Hey, buddy. How's it going? That's a lot of stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm having no luck right now with the Enderman. I might end up killing the slimes afterward because I, I just want to keep fighting. The oh, crap. Look at all those creepers. Oh, boy. That's a lot of creepers, man. Oh, you freaking jerk. Okay. <sighs> let's, stay, let's, let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. Oh, piss. Oh, I'm in a bad space. These vines keep tripping me up. Okay. We got this. Uh. <laughs> Look at him do a little dance. Do a little dance. Oh, man. Poor sheep. Okay. Oh. Oh! <sighs> God dang. <laughs> Let's drink a potion. Oh, this place is a freaking battlefield, isn't it? <sighs> so far, no luck on Enderman over here. Well, that sucks. I just need two Endermen. That'll give us eight Ender Pearls. Oh, there's a witch. Oh my god. <laughs> Witches are the worst. Oh! See, there we go. Speed effect Spider Man. Gotta kill that witch. Gotta get her dead. Witches are horrible freaking creatures. And I hate how they freaking added them to the uh, the natural spawning. Ugh. No luck with Enderman. Oh well. I might actually just, you know, casually kill Enderman if I need to. Well, this sucks. <laughs> Quit doing it. Die. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. As you can tell, I really like bow and arrow, so... <laughs> I use it a whole lot in my fighting. I'm not seeing any Enderman. Uh, this sucks, actually. Please, Enderman spawn. At least one Enderman. Back off, bub. Back off, bub. Ah, is it? Okay. Yeah, no Enderman. Tough luck. <sighs> well. Oh, well. At least we had fun. <laughs> At least we survived and tried to fend off our lives. Oh, they both died at the same time. I want to collect as many slime goos as possible because I kind of need as um, much because I, I want to use the slime goo for the bouncy blocks. I haven't made any bouncy blocks yet, I don't believe. So, those will come in handy for that. Uh, I need to casually kill some pigs too because I need some health or some food. And I really need to make a farming system so I can have some farms oh okay thank you sir um oh god that's awful <laughs> I'd hate to be knocked down that um I guess I'm just gonna end off the episode here uh I I'm sorry that we couldn't get any Enderman I'm actually kind of bummed out as well but it's fine next episode we'll do some building I believe and we'll actually do some stuff so thank you very much for watching I've been Torque 13 and I will see you next time. Goodbye.